Hello, thank you for tuning in to the BC Liquor YouTube channel. My name is David Wallowidnik, and I'm the resident cocktail stylist of Taste Magazine. The spring of 2022 is quite an exciting issue. We've got lots going on. One of my favorites is this piece that we've done on sustainable cocktails. Now, sustainable cocktails have been a buzz phrase in the bartending community for quite some time. And I'd like to show you how easy it is to bring it right into your own homes as well. What are sustainable cocktails? Well, it's utilizing ingredients to their fullest potential, or at least being mindful of what we're putting into our cocktails. Sometimes we'll take a piece of fruit that doesn't look uh, prime anymore, and we discard it. We compost it. Well, why not turn it into a jam or a jelly or a shrub or infuse it into something, make a syrup, or maybe even dehydrate it. There's lots of different ways that we can grab hold of these opportunities and repurpose the things that we would otherwise discard. It's also about buying local whenever you can. And so the cocktail that I want to show for you today is called the No Waste Sour. It involves little Queensboro gin. This is a local gin in Vancouver. Now they're using a wheat neutral grain spirit as a base and redistilling it with a little Rocky Mountain juniper, spruce tips from Vancouver Island, and a host of other gin botanicals. There's also this little wine. Now I had some leftover wine last night, so today I took what was left out of this Gewurztraminer, this beautiful Grey Monk Gewurztraminer, loads of tropical notes, a little ginger spice in there. It's slightly off dry but bright acidity, and I made a cocktail syrup out of it. It was so easy to do. I took a cup of that Grey Monk Gewurztraminer and I reduced it in a little pot by half. Once I had half a cup of concentrated wine, I added half a cup of sugar. Simmer to dissolve, and now I've got a simple syrup with the wine as a base. The beauty of it is the flavor of that Gewurztraminer and the acidity come through. We're going to balance all that out with just a little bit of lemon, and there you have it. Let's show you just how easy this cocktail is. I'm going to take the Queensboro gin and measure out one and a half ounces which is 45 mils. To that, a little of this Gewurztraminer syrup. Now this is gonna be 30 mils, which is one fluid ounce. And because there's already quite a bit of acidity in that wine syrup, three quarters of an ounce of this lemon juice. Sometimes you eat adding an equal part of that one-to-one -one syrup to lemon juice. In this case, a little bit less of the lemon juice. And I really want to bring out some of those beautiful, delicious, piney notes of this gin by adding in a little bit of rosemary to this cocktail shaker. And if I shake it along with the ice, it's going to bring out some of those piney notes of that rosemary as well. So we're going to take and prepare our cocktail glass and our cocktail shaker by putting a little ice into each of them. There we go. Now let's give this a shake. Now for this, I'm going to grab um, a Hawthorne strainer and I'm going to double strain it into my cocktail glass. See, I want to pull back the little ice shards that have been created and also those little bits of rosemary. Just like that. Place that aside and why not? Let's garnish it with a little bit of that same rosemary and Let's take one of these beautiful dehydrated lemons, place that right over top just like that, and that is called a no waste sour. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Pick up the magazine for a copy of this recipe and more, and I look forward to seeing you again soon here on YouTube.